Hi guys. Um, it is the seventh of April, um, <clears throat> and I am at the seven month um, auntie mark, um, and I am three months on libido. Um, I had my second shot on Thursday. Um, excuse me. That. That's my cat going mad. Um, he's chasing a ball. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. So, three months on the video um, on Thursday. And the point of this video is um, I was asked the other day um, do I consider myself stealth? Um, personally or at work? Um, and I'm not quite sure where I stand on this. I would say. The answer is no, um, but at the same time I don't out myself um, unless I feel that it's necessary. Um, everybody, I'm out to friends, family um, and people around me that where I live, um, mainly because I've been here, I've been living here, what, five years? So I've been transitioning two years. So for three years, um, you've already knew me by my birth name, um, and I haven't had any issues. Um, people around me aren't bothered; they don't have any stresses or issues with my transition. They've all been very supportive. Um, work, on the other hand, is a different matter um, because I work with a very large organisation. Um, and providing healthcare um, in a number of ways, and so we have like old members and new members. I've been there part of this organisation for about thirteen years. Um, so <laughs> pants then pack it in. Um, so for members that, or for for colleagues that um, that work with me in the past, obviously they're aware of my transition and there are new colleagues um, that only know me as Billy and only know me as male and um, so I, I'm, I'm not I didn't consciously decide to be stealth with new colleagues um, Branston you are annoying go away um, it was, it's more a case of they don't need to know, so I've not bothered to say. If they were to ask me, they would get a straight answer. Um, I am open like that. If somebody's got a question to ask, I would much rather them ask than be off in a corner somewhere chatting amongst themselves and whispering. Yeah, I would much rather them come and ask. Um, but I haven't. Um, I haven't sort of like announced it to anybody, I haven't you know, outed myself. Um, if they don't need to know, then they don't get to know unless they ask. Um, and my colleagues that I've worked with for um, the past 13 years have all taken my cue on that and have just decided to, they don't discuss it, they don't out me, they um, you know, I, they're very supportive. Um, and because I have taken that decision that I'm not going to be totally out there and open with everybody because then you go through the same questions over and over again and I don't see the need for that um, they only need to know me as uh, the role that I'm in and they only need to see me on the back of the ambulances or you know um, yeah, whatever it is we're doing um, as Billy without all the questions that come into when somebody helps you. Uh, so no I'm not I'm not I'm not stealth but at the same time I'm not not stealth. I don't really know how to put that. Um I, I don't choose to openly go, hey everyone, I'm trans um every time I meet somebody. Um and I don't spend my day-to-day -day life outing myself on a regular basis, um, 
but however if somebody asks me a question or asks me if I'm trans or poses the question are you a guy then I deal with those situations individually um, I present as male I pass as male I use all you know, male restrooms I do guy stuff um, and to be honest nobody so far has come and asked me um, but I would like to think that if they did they would get a straight answer um, I know that you know everybody's different and for some people being stealth is um, what they want and they um, find comfort in it um, I however have an issue with feeling like I'm lying um, or feeling not that not that being stealthy is deceitful because that's that's not that's not true, but I, I just find that it's a bit. The problem with being stealthy is you have to have a good memory because you have to remember who knows what, who knows what about you, and the problem that I have with being stealth is that you very quickly learn to edit your personal life and your past to fit with being stealth and I'm not very comfortable with that I don't have a problem with my past um, my past has made me who I am now and the accepting person that I am now I wouldn't necessarily have been if I hadn't been born biologically female um, I don't think I would be as understanding necessarily with my partner and with the children um, and the things that they face if I hadn't been born uh, biologically female um, I think I would have approached things a lot differently so I find that editing my life doesn't fit me um, I don't have an issue if anybody else does it but I personally um, just live my life day to day as Billy and you know um, it's not a conscious thing to be stealth I don't go get up in the morning and think right I'm going to work Right, who do I need to avoid because I they know me as X name, you know, or should I change jobs because I'm trans? I made the decision not to. I decided that I am me, and if you don't like it, well, balls to you. Um, not everybody can do that. Um, I don't know that. So, in question, answer to my question, to the question, am I stealth? Um, sort of, or not. I am sort of in the fact that I don't openly go around telling everybody that I'm trans but at the same time I don't hide it either um, so I'm sorry if that didn't answer the question that was posed to me um, but yeah so yeah stealth or not mm, me personally it's not a chosen thing I don't I haven't chosen to be stealth and not tell anybody um, so it kind of waffled on a bit there, so I apologise. Um, yeah, stealth. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Let me think. I mean, I personally just have... I'm just not comfortable with the whole idea of editing my past. Um, but, you know, anyway, catch you guys later.